Man, it never gives it. <laughs> Have to ask every time. <laughs> uh, good luck. Look up fun. That's good. Okay, so Channels, it's a water map. Everybody is on an island. They have two mines on their islands. Uh, and uh, the islands are shaped in a pretty weird way, usually. Usually, like most islands are shaped in like a T or an L shape. This one is the, the smallest one, I think. One of the smallest one, and it's just a bar. Or a minor L. A G shape. Hey, that cauliflower. How are you doing tonight? Sorry, I was not talking very much because uh, I was sneezing and I muted the mic. But we are watching a nice and beautiful game. We have Mr. EGN here in green, who is partnered with uh, Daybreak in red and MFSC in orange. And against them, we have U8 in blue. Uh, Bombix in yellow and Paolo in purple being attacked by Daybreak here. So Paolo went for two shipyards and a blacksmith and a foundry, but he never made the boats, did he? He went for a second hole instead. An interesting choice. I don't think anyone actually went for that for for that route, but
By head, you mean uh, Mistral? Danny? If you mean Mistral, yes. Sometimes, from time to time, yes. I've seen him, uh, like he, he joined occasionally and, and played with us for sure. Although, uh, I had to tell him to not uh, unlock the cheat codes in game and stuff like that, but yeah. Besides that, th th those minor instances. <laughs> well, Daybreak uh, is taking a very good fight. Four battleships against uh, the three here. Definitely produced a lot. I do not modify my game, Danny. So I'm playing with the base game as it was in 2000. Pretty much. I'm using the GOG version right now, but without any modification to it, except for the the D draw, but it's not the game itself, it's the library that I used. So the only change I have is the D draw. Pretty much. I like the, the shader better. Lol, <laughs> the taunts. <laughs> the two battleships killed four battleships. That, that doesn't happen every day. Giant turtles? Oh, they can be used, yes, but you do need to have a keep for that. None of them have a keep yet. This one has. Maybe we'll see giant turtles. Giant turtles have that window of of, uh, of usefulness that can really uh, be incredible. But if you miss it, it's a meh unit. I think the bat the the submarines. If the game was to be rebalanced one day, submarines need to do about twice the damage they do right now. And then they would be a threat, considerable threat. Because the thing is, they need to be able to kill transports. If submarines can kill transports, then they, they are a threat even late game. They, they are supposed to be super weak, like they are supposed to be one shot by anything. But if they are fine, you know, like if something hits them, they die. But they are supposed to do a lot of damage so that the simple threat of losing your transport forces you to get the vision. They have a place in the game though. Without the balance patch, they, they are really they are used. And yes, UA does use uh, submarines. I've seen Bravit use them, I've seen Shotgun use them, uh, I've seen SPB use them. They, they have their window of time where they can really... Um, like if, if there's a player heavily investing in what are like uh, Daybreak right now. Submarines can be a fun way to deal with both battleships. Oh, he got a nice shot. He got a beautiful shot. Yep, that's a second very beautiful shot. Okay, he, he went away. Like, like when you move away from a battleship, you're gonna take it in the face pretty much. But uh, the, the fighting was pretty good. That battleship is like down to 1 HP. Someone landed somewhere. Oh, it's here? And here, okay. Yellow and orange, how to distinguish.
Man. Bobbix rolling on an FSC here. And I was thinking MFSC might be the one going for uh, submarines, but he actually got the Melga Mount instead. So for the submarine, you need the uh, Gnomi, uh, the Goblin Alchemist or the Gnomish Inventor, and that unlocks submarines, giant turtles. Someone blocking the way somewhere. Oh, those battleships, maybe. Well, at least Bombix has battleships. We have archers here from Eternal Games? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do we have archers here? Is Eternal Games going elves only? I like that he has enough farms. I mean, he has farms, but he's not building one. Needs to always be building a farm. I'm not against him doing anything, but if he wants to improve, he, he needs to take the reflex of always be building a farm and uh, and producing a peon from a hole. You can see U8 keeps doing it, keeps building farms, keeps making peons all the time. He's even, even building two farms right now. But more than a, a thing, you know, a, use, a useful thing to do, it is a practice. It's good for your for your muscle memory to keep up with that those two simple tasks and make sure that you always keep up with those two simple tasks to increase your uh, number of peons and farms. MFSC says he has to go, and here we go. We have the the submarines actually. So the best way to use submarines is to select your submarine and to move it and not target uh, target attack. You want to always be moving the sub. Because the problem that happens is your sub is predictable uh, two tiles away from your... Uh, I mean two... Uh, two times... Uh, four tiles away from your battleship. You can see how it's very predictable. So if, if he's paying attention he can target ground here and the, the sub, sub is going to take it in the face. That was very easy read right there. You can see, you could see it go above the. So now, exactly what you want to do. Alright, he's gonna be trapping those. Yeah, on a, on a map like this, it's pretty hard. Because you can see how you have little room to move, and the turtle is a lot easier to find. But he was doing a good job. 